Okay, now I'm in Blender. I open the Wikipedia page about Heist Maps. Here it is. And then a Heist Map, what is that? I'm gonna try to import one into Blender. A little bit part of this one. It's an image in black and white, where the black areas are the lowest sea level here in this case, and the highest areas are in white. You see here, Tibet or whatever, and here's a little high, and it's pretty high here too. And here is where I live, there's a little bit of mountains in Norway. I'm gonna cut this out, part of Scandinavia out. All right. I can quit Firefox, save some memory, delete this box, and okay, import export here. It should uh, have import images plain, but it's not enabled, so I have to enable it. Import export, import images as planes. There, I can close this window, and now it should be possible to import. I saved it as. I cut out a piece of that big heist map of the whole world. The only Scandinavians put it in slash TMP. Slash TMP slash Scandinavia PNG. Yeah, there it is. Okay, one image added. It's very small, I'm gonna scale it up a bit. Still pretty small. Okay, like that. And now, this one, I have to subdivide this image. First go into edit mode and then press W to get this sub menu and click subdivide. And then number of cuts, I don't know, 300 maybe. So it should divide this. Okay, now it divided it into 300 sub images. Go back to object mode and then add displacement. Right, UV coordinates, and it disappeared. Oh, it's here, of course. Where should it be otherwise? And maybe this is a little bit too much, so I can lessen the strength some. Hmm, I don't think this <laughs> really worked so good. Maybe it should be a little bit down. It's really happening and strange stuff here. <laughs> can lessen the strength. Okay, now it's starting to look like Scandinavia. Maybe put point zero three. Maybe that's okay. <laughs> All right. There it is, Scandinavia. And if I turn on smooth, here. Now I have Scandinavia. Okay, now I have Sweden here in this view. I can we be in this view. Choose a material for Sweden. <laughs> and maybe um, I can use the cycle render. can just use a diffuse BS DF. What color? Maybe green? Some little darker green, something like that. That's okay. And what does it look like now? Choose some. Thing like that. And Sampling, turn it up a bit like that to see it in good resolution. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, okay. It's too, it's too dark. I have to adjust the lights. There is a light over here. Maybe I can move it to here, maybe. And change it into sun. Okay, change it into sun. Rotate it a bit. I wonder if I should turn up the 
strength of the sun. Like that. Well, let's see what it looks like now. Sweden, how do you look now? Brighter. Actually, I think this scale here could be turned down a bit more, but because I don't think it's really representative. So if these are two kilometers high, thi this is 200. The scale is obviously wrong here in the y direction. Okay, let's add some sea level. So I can add a plane for the sea. I'll render it just like that. That's a modest sea rise. And the sea should have some surface and uh, maybe some blue surface. The sea can have that color, that color. That's good, sea color. But now you can see <laughs> if the sea level would rise, and I'm not really sure how much, but this seems to be maybe 100 meters or so. Large parts of southern Sweden, here is the Stockholm region, would be underwater. But Norway and northern Sweden is intact. I'm gonna try to adjust this plane. Go to edit mode, extrude, give it some depth. And if I give it the glass material now. I'm not sure what these settings are, but it shouldn't be black. It's not completely black, but I want it to be more transparent. Maybe that has to do with the angle or something. Because this is not really transparent, but you know what I mean, it's possible to, to, to make it. So now I'm just gonna render an animation in the first frame, it should be down here, add keyframe there, and in the last frame I just raise it to 50. Just raise the sea level, how much? Not like that, is enough. Now we should be able to witness an animation as most parts of Sweden is drowned when the sea level rise, 200 meters or more. Good. Did I add, add the keyframe? Okay, now I can see it, yeah, rising like that. Hmm? No, it's just animate. I'm gonna stop the uh, recording now and adjust the material, do animation and then add the animation without recording sound.